Hello there, this is Tony DeLisi at Huntley Realty, and uh, in this video we're going to talk about knowing how much your home is worth. Worth. What do you price it at? And I got the title here, What's Love Got to Do With It? Because so many people price their home based on their memories, their feelings. We're going to talk about why that is probably not a great idea for you. All right, now the first thing, as I said, I want to talk about is keep your emotions out of it. It's a business decision. The buyer doesn't care how much you paid for it or really some of the improvements you made to it if they don't add to the value for them. Just think of it this way. If you went to purchase a car and the dealer told you he had to charge 5000 extra because excuse me, one of his daughters is getting married, you, you wouldn't say, oh, great, where do I sign? I'd be glad to help you out with that. No, you'd go to another place and buy your car. And home buyers are the same way. We can't tell them how much you love your home or all those kind of things because they just don't care. So look at your home as a business with a straight dollar and cents viewpoint when pricing your home. Now, some people will ask, well, how much will a buyer want off when they buy my home? Well, very few people are going to pay what you're asking for your home. They are going to ask for something off. Now, uh, your realtor can uh, give you a report from the multiple listing service that tells you how much on average people are getting off on homes in your area so you get an idea. Um, but a lot of it depends on if it's highly priced to start, people will ask for more off. If there's obvious things wrong with it, people will ask for more off. So every situation is different, but you want to think in advance of how you're, how much you're willing to negotiate. Do not price your home at the exact amount that you want to get for your home, because then it'll make it very hard to negotiate. Okay, now, even if, if you price your home too high, remember that almost everyone today gets an appraisal. If the person needs a mortgage, the finance company is going to ask for an appraisal. Even cash buyers often ask for appraisal. So even if we can, you can sell your home for more than it's worth to someone, maybe from out of town or that really falls in love with it, an appraisal is going to show that it's worth less. So why go through all that and tie up your home for a month or so off the market when you can price it correctly in the beginning, get it sold, get a good solid deal? All right, now some people ask a realtor, well, can we start high and see what happens? And yes, you can. You can use any approach that you want to use. But remember that starting high causes problems. And here's why. Most realtors uh, look every day at what's called the hot sheet. It's new listings, price changes, and so on. And so your home gets the most excitement, most views uh, when it's first on the market. Now, if it goes on too high, uh, realtors in the area and people will decide it's priced too high and they're not interested. Remember that today, lots of folks use services like Zillow and Trulia to automatically send them text messages whenever a home comes up that matches their criteria. So if you put your home up too high, many of the best prospects are going to get a text telling them it's on the market, how much it is, and they're going to decide they're not interested. So not a great program. It's better to list your home properly from the very beginning. Now, how do you know if your home is priced too high? Well, if you're not getting a lot of showings, that's the best indication. Or if you're getting showings, but you're not getting offers. Now, on the average, I find it takes 10 showings to get an offer. So if your home has had 15, 20, 25 showings, and you're not getting offers, that's an indication that your home is priced too high, and it's time to lower it. Also, whenever the volume of um, showings falls off, that's an indication that your home is priced too high. So talk to your realtor and see if it's time to do a small price reduction. 
Last thing I want to mention is time is money. You're selling your home for a reason. Maybe you want to move to a warmer climate. Maybe you want to get away from neighbors you don't like. Maybe you want to change schools for your children. Whatever the goal is, why put it off and maybe not even accomplish it for a few extra dollars? If you can accomplish your goal, I believe it's always worth a little less money for your home and, and accomplishing your goal, getting it done now. So just remember the phrase that time is money. Now, if you'd like to talk about how much your home is worth and getting the most for your home, even though I've talked about not pricing it too high, I'm a realtor that's not afraid to price homes at the top of the market. So if you'd like to get the most for your home and get it sold, give me a call. I'm Tony, the Results Guy Delisi at Huntley Realty, and my number is 847 471 7177.